it's turning on the TV. It's unbelievable. Look at that. So if we go back and also if you want to turn it off, you just press that and it will turn off the TV. Look at that. That is cool. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So I bought this device called Flipper Zero. This was available as a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter. And um, at the time when I looked at it, I thought, I don't know what it was for. Uh, but as soon as this was available in public, like people are really eager to get one of these. And apparently the price is doubling and tripling and it's going mad. And it's really difficult to get hold of. Now, fortunately, because I live in UK, there's a website called Zoom that I can, I can actually order. Um, but I think it was actually delivered from China somewhere. But apparently, if you look at the sideways, it actually has the local representative office of UK in London and also in Netherlands in Europe as well. So overall, what this device is known to be a hacking device. So to sum it up, there are six listed on the side uh, label. It says the um, sub gigahertz, infrared, uh, RFID, uh, GPIO, NFC and I button. Um, I just know a few of them actually. I know that NFC is for contactless um, payments and um, access card and etc. I guess the infrared is for like universal um, control for your TV or for your speaker and so on. So I'm really excited to try this out, but I guess technically now I could start to call myself a bit of a hacker because I'm going to explore what is um, available for this clever device. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and setup. So here it goes. Okay, so if you open it up, nice. There's this uh, quick card that says, um, hack the planet, <laughs> bravely saying. Okay, and there's this quick manual starter. So you need to get the micro SD card that needs to be slotted into the device, power on with the back button for uh, two, three seconds. Um, and then you got to update the firmware and rebooting and then you're all good to go. And I guess this QR code is for the app and so on. So for this exercise purpose, I actually bought the um, scan disk for uh, 128 gigabytes because it's so cheap. But apparently on the manual itself, it says that uh, you only need up to 16 gigabytes. Okay, we got the typical USB-C. And finally, we got the Flipper Zero itself. So really nice shape, um, good weight as well. I like good weighted device, it shows the quality of it. Now we got the direction button of up, down, left, right, and a select, and also the back button for turning on and off, as it's actually shown on the sticker here. On the top, we got these um, very interesting code that I have absolutely no idea what it's for, but apparently this is for the GPIO, for the extension, uh, of devices connection and use and etc. Uh, we got the infrared on the other side so this could be used as a multiple universal remote control and on the bottom we got the um, micro SD card slot that's why I'm going to slot this in here um, and then on the bottom we got the USB-C charger and also you can use this as um, like a keyring almost but it's a bit chunkier I have absolutely no idea what this is for, but I guess it's shaped, designed to probably fit into a certain device or fob. And then we should actually put this in here. Is it the other way around? It doesn't seem to go well. Uh, that makes sense. Connect it on this end. And then we need to connect it to the computer to update. So all good to go. And we got Flipper here saying, hi mate. Press uh, to continue. Okay, so let's press that. Allow me to introduce myself. Sure. I can grow smart and cool if you use me often. Okay, cool. It's like Tamagotchi, yeah? As long as you read, write, and emulate, uh, you can check my level and mood uh, in the passport menu, okay? So no data is found in the SD card. Okay, so we got 
Wow, look at all these functions here. I don't like the sound of the button. It feels kind of weak, but anyway, we got the uh, sub gigahertz, 125 kilohertz RFID, NFC, infrared, uh, GPIO, iButton, bad USB. I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And we got the U2F plugins, uh, debug tools, settings. Okay. All right. So I downloaded the software on my Windows PC. Let's update it. So this is the 0.71.1. Okay. Uh, Flipper is actually liking it, isn't he? It's like updating. You can actually see that he is liking it. So the firmware update is success. So let's go. Okay. Right, so you can see that my device in is in the happy mode because it's in level one. I think I have to use it quite often to make, keep it happy. But if you press down, there's the bad USB. So uh, those are either for the um, Mac or Windows. If you scroll right, there's the game. So if you press on game, there's a snake game. So we could actually play snake by doing this. This is very old school, isn't it? We got uh, miscellaneous. So this is music player. Okay. If you run the app, uh, there are, I guess you could store um, music, MP3 files into this device as well. That's very clever. It's like an old mobile phone, isn't it? But anyway, uh, Bluetooth remote, DAP link, NSC magic, Pico pass reader, uh, signal generator, weather station. Whoa. Okay. So this is tools, um, browser. So this is update. It's like this, like, um, a sort of bit old dated, um, mobile phone, smartphone, isn't it? Infrared. So we could go for air conditioning, audio or TV. That's very cool. Look at that. For some reason though, if I use the NFT to read my wireless card, it's basically saying that um, can't pass the data from app. Uh, so this is like some sort of class, maybe it can't read it. Now, if you go to NFC, if you look at the second one, which is detect reader, you can actually emulate the door access um, reader, which is very troubling because criminals can use this for unlocking the door. So this isn't sounding good so far. Okay, that's a bit worrying. Um, so you can save an extra actions. What extra actions you can do? Read specific card type, um, my fair classic keys and unlock as well. What's this? Wow. So this is, has a lot of function indeed. So if we go to the um, infrared and if I, use the universal uh, remote control and TV. It's turning on the TV. It's unbelievable. Look at that. So if we go back and also if you want to turn it off, you just press that and it will turn off the TV. Look at that. That is cool. Now I was hoping to use uh, the flipper zero for controlling the Ruark audio here on below my TV stand there. That's a really expensive speaker. We love it. Now, for some reason, the remote control here uh, seems to have a unique infrared code. So I was trying to basically on a flipper, trying to register uh, this one onto, uh, well, the signal onto flipper, but it doesn't work at all, unfortunately. Um, I don't know where the signal is actually coming out, but just to prove to you this works is that I'm going to use the TV. Um, let's just zoom in TV button. And if I were to turn it off and press it, it goes, that's how it actually reads the code and the signal. But it's a shame that it cannot detect my uh, Ruark uh, remote control so that I could turn on the speaker because that's what exactly I needed but it doesn't work. So basically I downloaded the uh, Unleashed software that is available on GitHub community. Done some bit of a research by the way, so I'm not sure whether this is illegal or not, but anyhow, we got far more functions here. So if we go to games, we got the um, Android, uh, 
Doom. This is a very interesting one. Actually, quite a lot of people were quite um, impressed with this one um, when I showed them around. So basically, you can see that I'm moving around and it's just amazing. This is meant to be a 3D, uh, but somehow they actually converted into a 2D. And um, yeah, so that's how you can actually destroy your opponent. I'm not sure how far you can reach into it, but anyway, I just killed that person. So then we got the uh, Flappy Bird. We all know that this is a very addictive game and that's how you do it. Okay, so I can't really see what's happening from this camera view, but I'm sure I'm doing all right. So we got the Mind Sweep um, and also the, oh, sorry, just go back and the Snake game, which I showed you earlier on, Tetris, Tic-Tac-Toe, Zombies, Game 15, and um, Heap Defense as well. Uh, so then we got the uh, MISC, so this is the Barco Generator, Multi Converter, uh, UART, Echo, USB, Keyboard and Mouse, uh, Authenticator as well. On Tools, we got Bluetooth Remote, um, Pickle Pass Reader, RFID Fuzzer, Signal Generator. <laughs> These are, there's so many things that I ha absolutely have no idea how it works, but I guess if I spend a um, bit of a time um, looking at this and on web to see how it works, I mean, the sub gigahertz, we got the read, raw, and um, saved, add manually frequency. I mean, it. this is a phenomenal device. I just am blown away. So many things you can do. So this is the uh, 125 uh, gigahertz RFID, uh, NFC, um, so we've gone through the NFC again, but we could uh, detect reader, saved, extra actions, and add manually debug. Infrared. So um, for the universal remotes, we've got TVs and audios. Now we've got added of projectors, um, fans, and AC as well, um, which is brilliant. So um, let me try that out in reality. Okay, so let's try this one out on a projector. Yep, it's working. Okay, so it says power off. So you have to press it twice, I think, to power it off. That doesn't seem to work. Anyhow, it did turn it on. So basically, you have to press it twice to be able to turn off the projector, but it can actually turn on the projector. So for turning on, press once. But for turning it off, you have to press it twice. Okay, so there you go. It works. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off. Ah, see? It's now turning off. Let's try the projector. Take one. Sending. Oh, it's on. Ah, it's on. Light's not on. It takes a while. There you go. <laughs> then we got the learn new remote. Uh, then we could go back to the save remote and debug as well. That's <laughs> really cool. So the GPIO is, I guess, is something to do with this um, extension here, is it? So USB, UART bridge. Uh, GPU manually controlled and um, and so on. So I think that you can actually add a um, extension for interrupting the Wi-Fi signal and so on like that. It's really cool. Now the other interesting fact is that on the NFT reader, uh, this is my Z Flip 4, which actually uh, set up the wireless payment on it. So if I were to ask to read, 
it does actually show the detail um, of what sort of number is registered for. Uh, so that's very, very interesting. But then again, when I actually tried it uh, to emulate it, it doesn't seem to work at all. So I had this um, Flipper Zero for almost two weeks now. And during that time, I had actually a chance to show this to one of my friends who's actually in the uh, access control system business, an expert himself. And once he figure out what this uh, device can do, uh, he immediately walked a few feet away from me and just like any other of my friends as well. And obviously it's because of the fear that I might be able to read uh, by using uh, the Flipper Zero, their contactless card and then use it and so on. So it's a priceless reaction. That's it's a bit of an entertainment in there. But then again, it, it does make you wonder um, if some criminal minded, ill minded individual will get hold of this flipper zero and then figure out how to do that um, without the knowledge of the other side of the person. It could be a very dangerous device. But then again, it does say that it's a educational device. Um, and at the same time, what I find so far is that it's struggling to read uh, some of my uh, contactless card uh, because it's classified or maybe I did it in the wrong way. So please do let me know and so on. But overall, probably I know the tenth of what it can do. There's a lot of um, jargons that I need to get used to, which I have to spend a lot of time um, each search each functions on the internet and then uh, figure out and so on. But I'm sure there's many of you out there who knows exactly to use some of the other functions that I don't know of. If you want me to demonstrate that for you, please do comment down below. But overall, I'm really pleased I have such a unique device. And what quite what is quite interesting is that that website that I bought from called Zoom, I don't think people in America be, will be able to get hold of these. I, so far, my understanding is that mainly in people in UK and uh, Netherlands, as it's actually shown on this uh, package, uh, those are the two countries that I'm aware of uh, that the people can get hold of this and so on. So that's quite interesting as well. Anyhow, I hope this video um, called a first impression rather um, help you understand what this Flipper Zero is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LTP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.